do a vlog. Hey guys, Vape and Vic here and welcome to a vlog. Oh, I'm all tired now from that run upstairs. Um, yes, we're doing another vlog. Vlog 21, 21 I believe. Um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Um, new section of the vlog where we talk about what you said in the previous vlog. I'll be showing the comments on screen. So, Ed Kennedy, shout out Ed to you. He says, I'm all in favour of regular vlogs for sure. I'd like to see sections of news advocacy, as I think uh, there's uh, not enough UK-based advocacy on YouTube. Uh, fair play, fair play, Ed. Um, thanks for all your support and stuff. Regular commenter on the uh, channel and a regular listener to the podcast as well, so shout out for that. Um, I agree, I agree. The advocacy scene is nowhere near as ferocious in uh, in the UK as it is uh, in America. Um and yes, I will start to put more, uh, more, more advocacy in. Uh, Rashid, as is, eighty four says, bring a subscriber onto chat with you, subscriber spotlight or something. Um, I would do that, but how? The, I don't know how I would do that. I don't know how that would work, and I don't know how to do that. Um, ah. I don't know how to do that. Um, Jennifer Harper says, uh, I agree with you on that kid. Uh, at, your, at that young an age, you aren't addicted enough to have a hard hitting time, have a hard time quitting. Just quit straight out. Now, that was from the previous vlog where we talked about that kid that got in trouble at school for vaping at school. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, basically, I said I don't think at that age he'd be properly addicted and he should just go cold turkey. And it seems like Jennifer agrees. Are we happy with this camera? Nah. No, we're not, but we'll keep it as it is. Um, yeah, so Jennifer, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, John Chadwick, who is actually the inky vapor, go and check him out. Um, he says he took the inner ring of the juice flow out of his Kefalo V2. I said that I wasn't impressed with the juice flow control and I just leave it open most of the time now. Uh, and he says if you take out the inner ring of the juice flow control um, of your Kefalo V2, uh, it wicks better in his opinion. So I will try that out. John, big shout out to you. Love what you're doing with uh, Vapors Worldwide and loving the Inky Vapor YouTube channel. So go and check that out, everyone. Um... Let's have a look. Uh, Constantilios says, uh, good vlog and good for drinking a coffee too. Shout out to you. Uh, Pamplona69, uh, vlog section, maybe screenshots of your favourite tweets and Instagrams you can discuss. Not a bad idea. I think I'm going to do this instead. I think this is a bit similar to that, I guess, isn't it? But... Um, I think I'm going to do this so the vlog becomes incredibly interactive. Um, I feel like anyone that puts a comment on the, this vlog will be read out in the next vlog. As long as I don't get crazy. But I've not got a big channel so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, so that's that idea. I'm still not happy with this camera. Let's have a look. Oh well. Um, Van Occupanther says recent Plumes of Hazard had a pro vape sales rep on as a guest uh, he had a lot of insight into the uh, pro vape, new pro vape uh, Preveri, we talked about that in the previous vlog um, yes the Plumes of Hazard is an amazing show amazing show and um, if you are interested in that Preveri, new Preveri device go and check out that Preveri uh, video that uh, Plumes of Hazard did it was only a couple of shows ago. Uh, but yeah, I love the, love the Plumes guys. And uh, yeah, that was a good show. Uh, nice. Uh, vape Vape. <laughs> great name. Vape Vape says, great blog. Nice hearing your thoughts on gear, juice and stuff. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, 
Nine Meals from Anarchy UK says, Hi Vic, best of British juice would be a good idea. That is a good idea. Um, yes, I will do. I'll make a, not in the vlog, I'll do a video on my favourite UK juices. Yes, 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 I will do that. I'll make a note of that. Uh, yes, yeah, I'll do a video on that. It's not a problem. Uh... Inkitatus, Inkitatus. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, mate. You've been a regular commenter for years, but I don't know how to say your name. Inkitatus said that he didn't think I looked thirty-one. Sorry, I am. Um, easy paper round, I guess. I actually had a very tough paper round, so I don't think that paper round thing works. Um, uh. I like vaping. Uh, sorry, Mister J Max six four two says I like vaping vlogs in general. One thing that makes sure I watch every week is giveaways. Okay, okay. From the next vlog onwards, I'll try and do a giveaway in every vlog. But I don't know if I've got enough gear. I think I'd run out of gear. Um, but I will try. Yeah, I'll try and do a giveaway in every vlog from after this vlog. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, Bob W wanted me to do something about coffee since I like coffee. I haven't got a coffee. I've got no coffee. Oh, there's a bit left. There's a bit left in here. Mm. Um, I don't know what I could do about coffee. I'm not a coffee expert. I just really like it. Um, uh, Van Occupantha says, you mentioned TC may not be a good choice for beginners. I recently heard a reviewer mention TC may be a good choice because it will avoid burnt hits. And I replied back to that, that I just think TC is too complicated for a new user, but I'm happy for them to use it if they want to use it. Um, yeah, I just think it's too complicated. But that's just me. Okay, so those are the comments from the previous vlog. Um, the vlog topic for this vlog is, I want to know your best, your favourite best vaping website. So just put in the, don't bother putting the whole link, just put .com at the end or something like that. Um, but yeah, just put in the comments your favourite vaping website, ideally and why. And also comment with comment with anything else you want to talk about as well. Um, but yeah, what is your favourite vaping website and why? That would be really interesting to know. Maybe it's Taste Your Juice, Basado's website, or maybe it's like Vaping Point, one of the blogging sites. I don't know. Let me know what and why is your, what's your favourite vaping website? I like loads. I like GrimGreen.com. I like Vaping Point. Um, Vape Rev is an interesting site. Um, obviously, I like the forums and stuff as well. But just let me know what you think your favourite vaping website is. Uh, bonus points for advocacy-based ones. That would be really interesting. Okay, so next section. I'm vaping on the uh, Nano, the Billow Nano on the VCT at the moment. It's very good, very nice. Let's get a bit more juice in it. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. People know me. I'm very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books. And my apartment smells of rich mahogany. <laughs> um, okay, so what have we got coming up? Well, I've just, basically, to be honest, I've just emptied my queue of review items. I'm not sure, I'm not always sure what I've got coming in, if I'm honest. Some things say they're coming in and I doubt it, and so I don't want to mention them on the vlog. Um, I don't know what's coming in. I genuinely don't know what's coming in next week. Um, but... I think I've got a lush RDA from Watofo on the way. I think. Um, I've got a couple of juices coming as well. Um, but I, I really want to do some other videos. I'm very keen on doing other videos rather than just straight out review, review, review. Especially if I've not got anything to review. So um, what I've got coming up is, and this was requested by uh, a subscriber, I think in an email. Um, but there, uh, this... My recommended build, my favourite personal build, like a tutorial I'm going to do, uh, for an 18650 mech mod. 
I'm going to do my favourite mech build, RDA build. Uh, and I'm going to do a video on that and why I really like it, how it vapes, how I wick it, how I coil it, etc. So that'll be that'll be something. Uh, I'm going to do a view of vape mail. Uh, ages and ages ago I did view of vape mail videos and if, somewhat, if I got a regular question asked to me a lot, I... Uh, I did a video on it, so to save everyone's time emailing me again, or I can refer back to the video, or it's clearly something that people need to know or want to know, so that was my incentive there. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do a view of vape mail on what is my, what is the best e-cig battery charger, what's the best battery for charging these, charger for charging these, and why uh, why it's the best one or why I use that one over other ones and what are the good points about it and a bit of battery safety stuff and a bit of basic battery stuff as well. In, I'm going to wrap that into a viewer vape mail video. I'm going to try squonking. I'm going to do a video on squonking. Uh, I've never tried squonking. I'm going to have a go at squonking and I'm going to do a video ex just talking about my experiences with squonking. I'm also going to do a video saying what my favourite sub-ohm clearomizer is and why. There's so many about and I keep getting emails saying which is the best one. So again, maybe that'll be a view of 8 mil. It might just be a which is the best sub-ohm clearomizer type video. Uh, and again, yeah, like I said, I've got that lush RDA on the way from Otofo, I think. So I'll do a review on that. Okay, next thing, um, what's the next thing? The next thing is previously reviewed items. How am I getting on after the hype, um, after the review reviews? Okay, so I might, well, since I'm vaping it in this vlog, I might as well talk about the uh, Billow V2 Nano. Absolutely rocking. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving this tank. <laughs> I just, I love the V2. And the Nano is the exact same, except it just doesn't hold as much juice, and it's got a better airflow and airflow ring. And uh, I think the flavour's a bit better as well. Flavour's slightly more intense because it's a shorter spout. Um, so I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving the Billow V2 Nano. Using it all the time. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else? This was a big exciting review this week, uh, the Tesla 100 watt nano TC. Didn't know how that review would come out because it's got some clear negatives, but overall you just can't knock it. You can knock it because you've just got those negatives, but the reality is, if I'm really enjoying an item, a, re a device, I know after the review I'm going to continue using it, I enjoy using it, there's only so negative I can be about it. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, this mod, I love using this mod, and yes, it's got its weaknesses, as discussed, you know, that slight ramp up, um, not having an off... <laughs> Uh, the charging underneath, but they're just quirks really, um, and overall, the battery life is just insane on this mod. Um, the battery life is awesome, I really like the way it vapes, I really like using it, I really like the size, and it's, and it's good. Overall, it's good. Now, what more can I tell you? You know, it's one of those where you could pull it apart, you could pull that mod apart, you could just say this and this and this, I guess you could anyway, but, or you can be like me and just accept that it's not a perfect mod, but I really enjoy using it, and yes, that's that's where I'm at with it. Uh, the t uh, the Cloudpaw Mini, from Cloudpaw, Cloudpaw Mini, uh, hasn't exploded on me yet. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't gone boom or gone faulty or anything. Um, I should say actually, you know, while we're, we're joking about that, this is Cloudpaw, and I've had this eighteen months maybe, um, and it's not Mr. Beat in all that time. So yeah, they they do have a um, a tricky track record with mods. 
but uh, I haven't had a problem with that and I have not had a problem with this. This is um, this is my, my work mod now. Because it's got the skin, because it's so small, um, Atlantis on top, no has hassle free work vape really. Um, and it's been absolutely fine, you know, it's, it gets put through the ringer as a work mod, so not had any trouble with it at all, to be honest, you know, so I'm ple I'm impressed with that mod, you know. I haven't used it much in TC, but I just don't vape in TC much, um, unfortunately. Um, so that's that. In there, in that Atlantis, I've currently got this. Cream. Cream from Vivid Vapes, and we are reviewing this in the vlog very soon uh, but this that came from VIVD vapes as well .co .uk. Um, but this yeah this is uh, very nice if you like custards or you like strawberry and cream vapes you're gonna love this it's absolutely lovely 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 juice so very impressed with that very much enjoying that what else what else uh, no, 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 no. yep yeah, that's about it for things uh, that I've reviewed that I want to talk about now um, so let's go into this juice review. Let's do this juice review right now. It's quite pungent. Oh yeah. It stings the nostrils. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. That doesn't make sense. Juice review. Oops, sounded like Scotch Vic then. Um, yeah. So what have we got? We have got Reanimator. Reanimator. Let's have a look. French liquid. Reanimator. Don't know anything about this. This is just a tester bottle that uh, Vivid Vape sent on. Uh, the unique aspect of this is it's 50 50, but it's got in, apparently, it's got in some vitamin B. They've thrown some vitamin B inside this juice. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh. Um Aha Okay Beyond this is what they say about reanimator on the Vivid Vapes website. Uh this juice is okay, beyond beyond its fluorescent yellow colour, yeah it's really yellow. Uh beyond its fluorescent yellow colour even revealed to black light, Reanimator is a fresh and sparkling e-liquid uh, meeting between the tangy green lemon and naturally sweet lime with a touch of right, uh, ripe melon. Uh, its amazing colour is produced by vitamin B that enters the composition of Reanimator. Shake well before use. <laughs> okay, so... So this has got vitamin B in. It's an e-liquid with vitamin B in. Let's give it a smash. Put it in the tugboat. Ugh. It really is really green. It won't be coming across, but uh, let's go smash it in here. Get it all nice and juiced up. So yeah, I'm still wanting to do more of these vlogs. I'm still wanting to do a lot of vlogs. So if anyone does have an idea for something to do in these vlogs, um, please, please email me. My email address is always in the description. Yeah, it does smell like lemon and lime. I hope it's not too much lemon. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a go. Axis, tugboat, reanimator. I feel, feel better already for that vitamin B, you know? I wonder if vitamin B helps remove the redness from her face. On that fourth vape, I realise I'm supposed to be reviewing it. Um, it's nice. It's tasty. Reminds me a bit of a sherbet lemon. You know the sherbet lemon boiled sweets? Lemon, big lemon boiled sweet with then sherbet inside. 
Getting the lemon and lime. Gosh, that's nice, actually. It's nice. It reminds me of pop. It, uh, drinking the pop, you know, lemon cordial or lemon and lime cordial or lemon and lime aid. You know, you can get lemon and lime aid, as in the fizzy pop. It reminds me of that. That's really nice. It's really good, actually. It's really good, and it's got a vitamin B in. So, you're making yourself healthier. I guess. I don't know. I don't know how vitamins work. I don't eat fruit and veg. It's really good. Go to vividvapes.com and read the proper stuff about it if you're more interested. Um, but I can tell you it's very tasty. It tastes nice. It's good. It's good. You know, I'll tell, I'll tell you if it's not good. That tastes nice. Really nice. So, that is the juice review for this vlog uh, reanimator. Yeah, go and check it out. It must, that's probably exclusive to Vivid Vape because that's how they roll. So if you want it in the UK, that's where you're going to have to go. It's a French juice. A lot of French juice is rubbish, but uh, that's very nice. Um, that's. I'm going to get messages about that. Oops. Um, news. Let's roll into the news section of the vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. How is this vlog going for time? <laughs> it's going it's going really long. <laughs> um, okay, so news. Very quickly, um, two things rolled into one here with the news. Uh, Facebook, I don't know if you know, I'm sure you do by now. Facebook originally intended to ban vaping advertising on Facebook, vaping groups on Facebook, uh, vaping vendor groups, sales groups, mob maker groups. Their intention was to stop all that. They were worried about that. Uh, they didn't really know whether that was a, a sort of thing that they wanted on Facebook. But a millionlives.org and vaping community campaigned and Facebook did a U-turn on uh, on their decision and now Facebook is more than happy to have vaping groups uh, sales and stuff and adverts on Facebook so that is a really good thing go along to uh, a million lives.org to read all about that and loads of other stuff as well very cool website which ties into another thing as well I would strongly recommend going and looking at and looking into the new vaping movie about to come out in cinemas called A Million Lives. Uh, it's a, like a documentary film about vaping that's about to go out in the cinemas. Go and... Uh, Get a leg up on that and go and look into that. It's going to be really interesting. Um, a major problem in vaping, in my opinion, is the perception of vaping in the general public, non-vapers, smokers, non-smokers, in general public, I feel like there's so much bad press about vaping that people have got a really bad opinion of vaping. I get some terrible looks from people when they see me vaping out and about, uh, and I'm sure you guys do as well, and I just think it's, I'm not cross at them as such, I think it's just ignorance, um, I think it's just yeah, I just think they just think it's a bad thing because of what they've seen. And it's not a bad thing. Vaping is not a bad thing. And so if this movie can help, if we all get behind this movie, go see it, tell people about it, get other people to go see it, could make a big difference. I don't know if it will. I don't know how it will go down. And I haven't seen the film, so I don't know what it's going to be like. But um, it's a real opportunity for vaping to get some positive spotlight. And so go and look into A Million Lives. Uh, new movie about vaping and go along to a million lives org as well uh, the other thing that was very interesting uh, this is a bit old news now because it was the other week but um, the NHS website now has a section on their website about e-cigs and about if you're a smoker trying out e-cigs and explaining that they are better clearly healthier than cigarettes and they are an option if you want to quit cigarettes uh, so that is a really positive whenever, whenever anything happens like that on uh, for vaping it's a positive it's an absolute positive now i don't know what ultimately it'll mean but i think at least it will make the governments and things look more silly if they campaign against the advice of the nhs on the nhs website you know so i think it's a it's a, just another positive it's another good step forwards um a bit more truth coming out which is very good very positive indeed 
so yeah, I'm trying to put a link to the NHS thing, but basically it's for smokers to read, not for us guys to read, but I think it's a very positive thing indeed. Another thing I got asked to put in vlogs, I'm not going to do it in this one, but I will consider doing it in the next few, is um, going back to like I used to do in previous vlogs. I used to talk about real life stuff, and um, I used to talk about what I'd been up to that week and stuff, or if I'd been anywhere, done anything interesting. I used to show pictures and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to try and go back to that. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of real life stuff in the vlogs. Um, so let me know if that sounds like a turn off or a turn on for you guys. Just can't stop vaping this billow. It's lovely. Still got that um, vape wild uh, king cake in here. Is it called king cake? I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? Um, okay, shout out outs i'm gonna do some shout outs uh, i'm just gonna throw it in there just because it's my job <laughs> it's not really my job but it sort of is um uh, the let's vape podcast go and check that out if you haven't heard of that uh, it's a podcast to do with joe cloudy uh links in the description to the podcast and go and check that out um what else oh, on, on that theme the reason i brought that up um apart from shameless self-promotion uh is i want to shout out james the everyday vapor link to his channel in the description uh shout out to him he was a guest on the podcast recently uh and uh, we had him in and we did like a juice special because he does a lot of juice reviews um so yeah shout out to him great guy great reviewer go and check out his channel uh another reviewer i want to shout out is at the vaping biker uh dino dean the vaping Vi biker he has a brilliant youtube channel as well for vaping loads of great reviews very honest very enthusiastic fella and a really good guy talk to him semi-regular basis uh yeah great guy go and check out his channel i'm sure you're already a subscriber he's got loads of subscribers but uh, a link to his channel is in the description uh, so go and check him out yeah top fella um and this last shout out if if uh, if you go to a good vape store and you think it's good and you think it's worth a shout out, I want to start shouting out good brick and mortar vape shops. So let me know if you know one. Put it in the comments, send me an email, and I'm going to start shouting out good brick and mortar vape shops uh, so people can see this and see that they're good and if they're local to them, they can go and check them out. I went to my not so local, <laughs> not so local vape shop, went on a little drive to a vape station in Halifax and uh, had a really good time there, bought a few things, uh, and it was really cool, and I really enjoyed it. So my shout-out, personal shout-out to a vape shop, is Vape Station in Halifax, uh, in the UK, in Yorkshire. Um, so yeah, so let me know, and if, and if on the same lines, if there's anyone you want shouting out, if you know someone that's just quit SIGs, um, and gone on to vaping, or someone that's done something cool in the vaping community, or heroic, or anything like that, let me know, and I will shout them out in this vlog, they won't see it, but I don't care, I think, uh, I want to start shouting out good things, good places, and good people, uh, so we can have a, so pe everyone can know, you know, let's, if someone does something good, let's, uh, you know, let's talk about it. Let's, let's stay really positive all this stuff. Um, so this was the blog. A little bit of a mess, a little bit of a rush of a vlog. Um, but I am wanting to do way, way more with these vlogs. And so we're in a transition phase of vlogs. Um, but there's going to be a lot more vlogs. And hopefully in time they're going to get really good. Um, I've been Vapen Vic. Thank you for watching. Anything you want me to put in the next vlog, put in the comments. Or send me an email or get in touch. Uh, let me know what you think of this one as well. Um, if you didn't enjoy it, hit the dislike button. I'm a big fan of that. Um, if you did like it, hit the like button, I guess. Um, but mainly, hit the dislike button. Um, yeah, I've been Vaping Vic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again really soon. From the entire Channel 4 News team, I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. <laughs>